Okay, here is the exit locker. Okay, here is the exploit broadcaster here. All right, so the way for it to actually capture the game itself, which is add game, as you can see. So and as you can see, add game. You know, you have to have the game open, and it'll give you an option to select which game you want to add straight to the stream. And you will have to actually have the game open in order for it to appear on that screen region. Here's another example of how to actually capture the game itself to appear on the screen as a free version of XSplit. Let's say example, this is the game. You know, when you put your game onto windowed mode, alright? So as you go here, you go, you click add region. And there's your region. That will appear on your screen. And this is your actual screen here, which means you get to put more stuff here on all this space. So you can just stretch this out here. And that would appear full screen on your live channel. That's how it's going to work. Now in order to have all four streams live. Such as here. Box here. Box here. And box here. Which is basically. It will pretty much. That will overlap the other stream. Basically even if you go to scene 2. In order for it to capture something else, you know, and that over, it's still going to overlap that. So you would have to have set up like this. It's being a pain right now, it's not loading. Uh, the problem is that my monitor really ain't that big, so it's not going to look perfect here. Yeah, it's not going to look very perfect. Let me just see if I can just... Yeah. There we go. Get it in there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I could just get the entire screen region. So, as you can see, the monitor is actually not. My monitor max is 1336, 720. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty small, so that way not everything is going to be able to fit properly. But if you have a huge monitor, then you're really good to go. I'm 
just gonna um This is what it's gonna look like on your screen, you know. You have all four streams playing at once. If you really want to analyze the pop-up of the Twitch.tv, which means basically you click the pop-up button of the Twitch that's going live, and you have all four pop-ups on your screen. That way, all of them will be able to play. As you can see, one, two, three, and four. That's over here. But just that, this X plays boxes. You know, doing the echo effects. <laughs> so that's probably how it will actually look. And if you got a really good monitor, if you got a really good monitor, you know, you can really adjust it to make it look much more perfect. And all four videos will actually play you know on your stream but you can make it look perfect you know but being that I don't have a very big monitor to have to balance size so. also here's an example of what it's going to be very tricky I'm just giving this exact example to get all for the play as pop-ups you know which is a very simple task but here's a much more complicated task here Add live stream, which means you're going to need uh, RTMP URL of the live stream channel. You know, so basically there's going to be a YouTube channel to really explain how to get this. And once you add the live stream channel, it's going to be added to your channel on your screen here. RTP, which means it's much more complicated, which means you need an entire coding source that connects to the live server. Here is gonna what it's gonna look like. But here's an example, you know, of being able to get the live streams. That's one, you know. And that's the screen region that you're gonna capture. If you want to get Twitch, the screen region. One, two, and four. You know, all four of the channels. YouTube. Which I'm using YouTube as an example of the streaming of the videos. I'm going to go here first. Excuse me. Hey, are you Drew? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm here with Heineken. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? This specific music is going to be overlap with something. And you're set up, you know, to show someone streaming. You know, it's going to appear completely full on your screen. Right here, here's, a, here's an example. See, that's how it's going to appear on your screen. And put it you go to Josh one you know Josh one is going to appear on the mother channel and you switch over here you go to Josh two Josh two is going to appear on the mother channel you know
switch back over to Josh 1 and then over to Josh 3 and Josh 4 you know that way you can all four there's going to be you know switch between your the mother channel Now to get a really good example of what it's really going to look like if you try to get all four shown on your screen. Add media file. Add media file is basically I'm actually adding a live stream. And you could just do earlier before just go to um catch the screen region and make sure you get the pop up you know of the live stream. I'll give you an example of that real quick. And here you go. That's going to appear on your channel. You know. So, yeah. Hey, did I, um... <laughs> and then you click out of that. In order to really, so you make sure you won't get no like, you will have to pretty much close this out, open up the other channel, and show theirs. Unless you really have a really, really powerful PC that could run so many things at once. Yeah. And you would just go to this tab here, have the other channel running, and do the same thing. It's going to appear on theirs. Now unless you really want all four to be adjusted on your main screen, what I just showed you, what I make all four videos appear, you can either do this, or you can add the live stream directly from the source, which is going to take some coding to do, but here's the pop-up, okay? Now you can have pop-ups of all four live channels adjusted on your screen. One here, here, bottom left, and bottom right. You know, it's pretty much how you really work the live if you want to get all working at once. So hopefully, it's pretty much quite some work just to make sure we get all five people tested and up and running. You know, it's the free version, so as a free version, you can still get it all done. But as an example for... Oh. You would need, you know, OpenGL of the actual game it hooks into. And pretty much that way, you can stream the game itself. You would have to be inside the game for it to appear. Now, if you want to have your game on screen along with other screens, you could just have your game on windowed mode and 
you capture that region of your game. Now, hopefully this helps you out understand it a bit more. And thing is that in order for the motherboard to really do all this work, it needs to be a very powerful machine. Because everyone can simply go live, simply, you know, on their computer just by playing that one game and stuff. But yeah, hopefully you can everybody get together, go over this video, and really figure something out.